Now on to our second example. It's still going to be a concave mirror. Concave mirrors have positive focal lengths. And uh, in this case, we have one that is 25 centimeters, meaning the distance from the lens to the focal point is 25 centimeters, which means the distance from the lens to the center of curvature is 50 centimeters, because this is always twice this number right here. We have now placed the object between the center of curvature and the focal point. The first video, we had the object placed much farther away. So now we place it there. Now let's find out where the image is going to appear. First, we do it graphically. Again, we draw a ray parallel to the normal. When it hits the mirror, it comes back and reflects through the focal point. So there you go, that's our first ray. The second ray is drawn from the top of the object to the focal point to the mirror. And then it reflects out of the mirror, comes back over this way, and that's our second ray. And where the two rays meet, that will be the location of the image. So the image is over here, looks like it's farther away than the center of curvature. Now, of course, that's just an approximation because, you know, the graph will never be quite 100% accurate. But for that, we will then use our mathematics to find out the exact location so forth of the image. So, again, using our equation here uh, to find the image distance, S prime is the image distance, S is the object distance, so S prime is equal to SF divided by S minus F. F, of course, is the focal length. So this is equal to... Oh, I didn't give you, oh yeah, right here, I gave you the uh, object distance, 40 centimeters away from the mirror. So this is 40 times 25 divided by 40 minus 25. So this is equal to 1,000 divided by 15, which would be equal to, hmm, looks like 60, 6.7, 66.7 centimeters. All right, that's the distance to the image. So right here from there to there is then 67 or 66.7 centimeters. Um, is it real or is it virtual? Well, the fact that it's in front of the mirror would make it real. Another way to look at it is that it's a positive quantity right here. So if this is positive, we then know that the image is real. So I is real. The next thing we're going to do is find the magnification right here. So we use this equation right here that the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. In this case, that's minus 66.7 divided by S, S was 40, and uh, let's see here, that's, uh, let me get my calculator out, so 66.7 divided by 40, it's, yeah, it's 1.67, 1.67, and it's negative, okay, the negative indicates that the image is inverted, so therefore we can say that's inverted, or upside down, and it's 1.67 times as large as the original object. So the object was this large. This was 1.67 times as large as that. So that's how we find that. So first of all, we found the distance to the image. We found that the image was real. We found the magnification of the image. And we realized that with the negative, that it was inverted. And that's how you do that. That's how you find the image of an object placed in front of a concave mirror when the object is between the center of curvature and the focal point. Our next example, we're going to move the object closer to the mirror in front of the, or between the mirror and the focal point, and then let's see where the image appears then. 